you can easily find the area of a triangle when given its base and height. But what if you are only given the lengths of its sides? Let's say A, B and C. How do we find the area of this triangle? We have a formula for it. The area equals the square root of S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C. A, B and C are the lengths of the triangle. But what on earth is S? It is the semi-perimeter of the triangle. S will equal A plus B plus C by 2. That is the perimeter divided by 2 or half the perimeter. Here's a typical problem that you may come across in your exams. We are given a triangle with lengths 5, 12 and 13 units and are asked to find its area. As we are given the lengths of all three sides, we can use the Heron's formula we just learnt. And to use the Heron's formula, the first thing we need to find is the semi-perimeter of this triangle. It will be 5 plus 12 plus 13 divided by 2. That will be 30 by 2 which equals 15. 15 is the semi-perimeter of this triangle. So what will be the area? It will be the square root of semi-perimeter which is 15 times semi-perimeter minus 5 times semi-perimeter minus 12 times semi-perimeter minus 13. It will be the square root of 15 times 10 times 3 times 2. Writing this in terms of its prime factors gives us this expression. Solving it further, we get its area as 30 squared units. That's how we can use the Heron's formula to find the area of a triangle. But wait, look at the numbers again. Do they ring a bell? 5, 12 and 13 form a Pythagorean triple which in turn tells us that this should be a right triangle. 13 being the largest side will be the hypotenuse and this will be the right angle. So tell me, did we really have to do all this? Not really. We could just use the half base times height formula and get the answer as 30 square units. I can't say it enough. In your competitive exams, time is of utmost importance. Getting the correct answer matters, yes. But how quickly you arrive at it is what makes the difference.